Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today we're going to focus on a special type of vinyl cutting mastering technique. Want to know what we're talking about? Let's take a look. Okay, so today we're going to focus on half speed mastering. A few of, the, of you uh, asked for this. I think it's, it's a pretty interesting topic. So why not do a video since um, vinyl is, as you all know, is greatly coming back and these past uh, mastering techniques are getting back finally in the uh, in, in production. I mean, the, the, the different houses, labels, companies, pr pressing, uh, pressing plants are starting again to use old techniques, old mastering techniques, uh, until the future is going to bring us in a future step, obviously. So, today we're going to talk about half mastering speed technique. What is that? It's um, very simply, it's a vinyl cutting process, okay? Once you have recorded your music, once you have your digital file or hopefully in the, in case of reissues your analog masters you're going to send that signal to the lathe to the machine that will cut the lacquer in order to create your after a few processes your master um, stamper which will create then the different copies for a, a specific number of copies for that master a lot of people a lot of issues now of uh, especially past famous records are now being redone, re reissued with this uh, technique. Uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen something like this out and about. Half Speed Mastering, Abbey Road Studios. What's happening here? Well, um, a lot of uh, production houses are sending their tapes or their files, mostly files, I must say out to Abbey Road because they have a great mastering facility and they're redoing practically specific um, issues with this technique where the speed of the cutting head is reduced to half. Instead of having a uh, real-time cutting where the you just put the, the, the audio signal and it's going like, like you would hear it and the, it, that, that would cut the, the lacquer, you're reducing the speed half by half Hence, the uh, cutting head has all its time, in that case, to cut the lacquer, especially also delivering the high frequencies. That's uh, among the benefits of this uh, type of, of technique. A lot of people say that's the, the, the highest, the most important uh, achievement of this type of, uh, of this uh, technique, of this method. Although people like Kevin Gray um, do think this is not that's such a good um uh, not such a good method actually um they think for example that you're lo losing a, a whole octave in the lower frequencies but other people has that have demonstrated that that's not true so it's kind of difficult to understand what's happening so you're going to find people who are perfectly um in line with this who think it's a good option and other people who think it's not at all a good option so who knows? The only thing that can judge, I think, it's your ears. So that's why we're going to do a little test. But before doing that, I just want to mention uh, briefly where was this used, this technique. Actually, it comes out from mainly from the Decca records in the 50s and 60s. They started to use this technique to obtain high quality stereo uh issues of their of their of their records because the mono versions were very high quality after that motown tamla but also jvc for their quad type of recordings all the way down to uh high quality mophie recordings i'm sure all of you know about the mobile fidelity recordings and they have been doing half speed mastering for ages so nothing new with with the gain and and gain two processes as you can see here if you take one of your records, in most cases, you're going to see here written. I don't think you can see this. I'll try to show you. In any case, it says half speed production and mastering by Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. So they have been doing already this for quite a while. 
And if they are doing it and Abbey Road is doing it, I think it's a pretty good um, option, a pretty good solution. Uh, it also makes sense. I mean, you do have all, uh, you give all the time, necessary time to the cutting head to do all its cycles in order to reproduce all the frequencies. And if someone has some doubts on the lower frequencies, I've seen some videos on YouTube uh, documents who say that instead they, they are able to go down all the way to 5 hertz. A sine wave of high hertz was reproduced that way. So who knows? I think it's, it's a, it can be a good solution. Nevertheless, not every album which is done with, with this technique, with this method, is good. It, it's not automatic. So for this reason, we're going to do a little comparison. We're going to listen to, I'm not going to tell you in which order, one part of uh, Walking on the Moon by Police, a recent reissue, of, uh, which was inside the fantastic, beautiful um, box set of all the, the Police uh, albums. This was just released a few months ago. So we're going we're gonna to test that with a first German edition of the same album and obviously the same track. Again, I'm not going to tell you which is which. I'm going to tell you just at the end of the video. So try and listen to both. I'm also going to put the files in download here. So maybe it's better if you just go directly to download. You decide. And after that, try to guess which is better. And at that point, um, at the end of the video, I'll tell you which is which. Okay? See you later. Okay, guys, so which one is better, file number one or file number two? Version number one or version number two? Well, version number one is this one. The reissue done with half speed mastering. While the file number two was instead the original um, first pressing by 1979, but German pressing of uh, Regatta de Blanc. Which one did you uh, like more? Please write down your comments here below. I'm interested and um, I don't know, post your also your suggestions for high quality half speed mastering uh, albums you think are worth listening, enjoying, because I, as I said before, not all of them are, are that good. So if we can help people to know what to look for, I think that's that's a good idea. Okay, guys, thank you again for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye. Oh, that's right. You want to know which one I prefer? I bet. I think. Well, I finished my listening session now and I have to admit that the original pressing was better, unfortunately. I was hoping that the half-speed mastering was uh, just as good but it's lacking, I must admit, actually, the, 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 dy the dy dynamic range. I mean, uh, not only the lower frequencies, but in general, the, um, the, the, the German pressing, which obviously it's all, all analog, it's a little more coherent, a fuller, fatter sound. Uh, at least that was, that's my impression. Uh, you're all obviously going to get um, a rip from both, so they're going to be two digital files. So you're not going to feel all the nuances, obviously. But I think it's interesting, uh, in any case, just to h get an idea already from these two. Then, obviously, the, 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 the right thing to do is go out, buy two copies, and make your own decision on that. Okay, guys? Thank you again for watching. Bye! <laughs>